Wreath then lads and lasses, how we doing and welcome back to the channel. Hope you'll have an a wonderful, wonderful day. First of all, I know, I know, it's been around six days since we last done an upload on the channel, a long form video, so yes, I do apologise. But as you can see, we are back. In today's daily news video, we're starting off with some positive news, then unfortunately for some, it may be negative. We've got news from Sky Sports that Newcastle United are edging closer to the Marquee deal. I know I've heard that exact bit of news for quite a while now, but it has been reported in the same article that Crystal Palace are now privately accepting that cashing in on Marquee would be a beneficial idea. I'm not going to lie, I don't know why they haven't sooner. We've also got news on what our class is quite negative. It's been reported by The Athletic and David Ornstein that Kieran Trippier wants to leave Newcastle United. Um, this is kind of a, a plot twist. I did not expect this, but also it's been said that Everton are interested in the 33-year-old. However, Newcastle and Everton have held talks for Kieran Trippier to leave on loan. How on earth is that going to benefit the club? But without further ado, if you do enjoy the video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. It's pretty uh, important that we get the likes in now. Since we haven't uploaded for a while, let's make sure that algorithm goes very well. Subscribe if you are new for all your Cassidy United content. I've missed saying that. And let me know down below, would you let Kieran Trippier leave on a loan move? In my opinion, of course we'll get into it. It's a non-starter. Without further ado... Let's get into it. Finally, we are back and genuinely, I've really missed this. So to everyone watching, thank you very much for joining me today. And yes, we will be back for quite a long time now. It's been reported by Sky Sports, starting off with the Mark Gahey news, then on to Kieran Trippier, that a £65 million deal between Crystal Palace and Newcastle United is likely to be struck. Crystal Palace have privately accepted that cashing in on the 24-year-old while his value is high could be beneficial for the club. Finally, Crystal Palace have swallowed their bold pride, uh, so to speak, £65 million for a player who has two years left on his contract, not to mention who doesn't seem to have any interest in renewing that contract. It's a no-brainer. Steve Parrish, who is Crystal Palace's chairman, should really have thought this um, quite a long time ago. Crystal Palace tried to play hardball with Newcastle, and to be fair to them, they did play hardball, but they didn't get to that further extent uh, what they would have liked to. £65 million is such a huge huge amount of money and actually when you take this in if we were to sign Gahey for 65 million pounds in a reported fee of 5 million in add-ons not only would he be Newcastle United's club record signing but he would be the fifth most expensive defender of all time I'm not gonna lie that sounds crazy to say isn't your Castle fan with what we've been through I don't like talking about the past but what we've been through in the past 10 years so to speak and of course the 14 years under Mike Ashley it sounds crazy Crazy to say that the fifth most expensive defender will be signed by Newcastle United to play for Newcastle United. Absolutely crazy. Let's just hope that Mark Gahey can be registered before 12 noon on Saturday or Friday actually so he can play against Bournemouth. And in my opinion, he'd start straight away, especially with Fabian Shaw getting that undeserved red card. Moving on though to Kieran Trippier. And yes, it's been reported by David Ornstein of The Athletic that Kieran Trippier wants to leave Newcastle United. The 33-year-old wants to depart the club because he wants first-team football. Although Saudi Arabian interest has been long-standing in Trippier, Everton have held talks with Newcastle to sign the right-back on loan. I think I'm going to take the most obvious thing out of that article, what we spoke about at the start of the video, a loan move will not benefit Newcastle United. Unless there's some sort of really high obligation loan clause in the contract, which by the way I can't see happening because Trippier is turning 34 years old, I don't want to sell him, especially to a Premier League club. I know Everton aren't exactly a Premier League rival anymore in terms of table position, but my preferred situation to sell Trippier would be something around £12 million to Saudi Arabia. Now trust me, I know £12 million uh, is a lot of money for the Kieran Trippier that we've seen at the back end of last season. His pace, his overall game, set pieces and crossing and passing, all of that stuff was deteriorating. However, Saudi Arabian leagues need interest. They need people from all over the globe watching their league to get that ridiculous money that they are spending uh, back into that league. 
League, they would sign Kieran Trippier because he's just played nearly a full tournament, or yes, a full tournament, uh, with England in Euro 2024. They know that Kieran Trippier is a highly watched player and he will bring eyes to that league, hence why they'll happily pay silly money for the 33-year-old. Now, it does look likely that Kieran Trippier will leave Newcastle United, and yet again, I know I've said it a fair few times now, if you do watch the Jordy Josh channel, but I would not be bothered either way if we sold Kieran Trippier. When you take a look at the full back line, we do need cover at right back. If we went through a season with just Emile Kraft, Tino Livramento and Harrison Ashby, maybe he goes out on loan. I don't think that's a good idea. I know we're not on Europe, or we're not in Europe, sorry, but Tino Livramento has been injured quite a few times in his career. Of course, had a very bad ACL injury at Southampton, which we took the risk on, by the way, thankfully. But however, Kieran Trippier's cover is vital at the club. If he doesn't want to stay at Newcastle and wants first team football, fair play. To be at that age and want to better your career, I wish him all the best because although having some very rough patches at Newcastle United, that man has been absolutely influential and in just such a statement signing for Newcastle United at that time in the 2021-22 season. He was the first big name to trust Newcastle United, trust the takeover and lead it to the right way. And honestly, that first and second season, I can't thank him enough. Yes, of course, um, last season he was okay. It was not his best season, but then two first seasons, I think it's kind of solidified him as Newcastle United's greatest ever right back. With that being said though, yet again, it looks likely that Kieran Trippier will leave Newcastle United. Of course, hopefully not on loan. If you were to sell Kieran Trippier, how much money would you be taking for the 33-year-old? Just picture it. He's got two years left on his contract. He's turning 34 years old. This season, you're not meant to get a lot of money, especially from a Premier League club. Bayern Munich offered 13 million euros last January. Could we get the same this summer? In my opinion, it's only Saudi Arabia that can offer that type of money. Without further ado, if you've enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button and of course subscribe if you are new to the Jordy Josh channel. Honestly, I really have missed making these videos. It's great to have you all back. I've been Jordy Josh. See you all tomorrow. Go and enjoy your day, people.